Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and today I'm here to tell you about my latest make, which is this. I'm wearing it right now. You may have seen it on my Instagram because I have posted a picture of it. Um, it's something I actually made over three weeks ago now because I made it in order to wear to a wedding that we went to in California and we rolled it all into like a two week holiday in California. So I finished it before we went away but life was just so crazy busy and hectic in the lead up to our holiday and I didn't have time to make a video so today's the day. It is um, a jumpsuit and the fabric that I've used to make it is from Guthrie and Garni although I do think it's stocked by a few other places as well. But on Guthrie and Garni, it's called the Jungle Jamboree Lena Crepe, and it's £14.50 a metre. I needed two and a half metres, so I spent about £36 on the fabric. But just look at it. In fact, I can show you this here. It's just the most gorgeous, like, tropical jungle leaf print on a black background, and I just really, really like it. And I really like that it's on a black background because I think it makes it a little bit more versatile in terms of transitioning, maybe wearing things with, like, black tights, not necessarily what I've made, but in general, I think this is a fabric that you could make dresses that are a little bit more transitional and not just for summer. So that's really good. The pattern that I've used is one that I've made before, in fact I made a red version, so I'll put a link in one of these corners right now, I can never work out which corner it is. Um, but this is what the pattern looks like in the packet, so it's the Vogue Very Easy V905 Jumpsuit. And I actually made this version to be exactly the same as the red version I made, so I've made this version as in the jumpsuit version, but I left the sleeves off, so the bodice is the one from this version. So, I will not keep you in suspense any longer, I'll put in some clips now of me wearing the jumpsuit, a few videos or photos to show you what it looks like in its full glory. Um, but essentially, it's got this nice high neck, and as, you, as I just told you, I did the sleeveless version, and it has seams that go down the middle of the bodice, and the seam at the back as well, so the bodice is made up of one, two, three four, five, six, seven pieces, um, and it's got an invisible zip at the back, and it goes in at the waist, and then it's got these lovely pleats at the waist, so the, the bottom, the trouser part of the jumpsuit are basically some big, billowy, kind of culotte style trousers, um, and they have these lovely sort of three big pleats on the top, on the front, and the back, and I just think it's a really flattering way to have the fabric all cinch in at your waist, but then just really nicely flow sort of over your hips and bottom. And I think it works really nicely in the crepe for this reason, because it's just so lovely and flowy and drapey. But then I guess you could make it in a more structured fabric and then the, the sort of trouser jumpsuit bit would actually have a bit more body, so that could be great too, I'd like to try that one day. The bodice is lined and I lined it in black and just thought it would be most discreet that way and I just used some crepe lining fabric from Minerva Crafts, it's very affordable, I can't remember exactly how much, but ordered that from Minerva Crafts. I did, I, I don't know if it's because it's crepe and this fabric is a little bit slippery, but I did end up with my bodice fabric a little bit too short, so it wasn't, I couldn't do my lovely stitch in the ditch to attach it all particularly nicely, I've had to just stitch it kind of at the, at the bodice seams, just stitch it down to so that it doesn't move about, but I couldn't probably, I couldn't attach it all at the waistband, which is a bit of a shame, but yeah, it must be my inaccurate cutting I think, but never mind, no one knows it's on the inside. I made a few adjustments to the pattern. If you saw my um, other video about my red New Year's Eve one, you'll know I made that one in quite a rush. So unfortunately, the fact that it was done in such a rush meant that I didn't have time to mark the adjustments I made on my pattern pieces, which is so annoying because it would have made life so much easier to have just been able to cut it out exactly right the first time. But anyway, so I had to start from scratch with my adjustments. Um, one adjustment I made was to the bodice, so I'll sort of show you, I took it in here on these two seams on the front here because there was just a bit too much excess, like I needed a bit more shape over my, like underneath my boobs to just bring it in a little bit more around my sort of ribcage here, so I took some out here. I also took it in at the zip, so sort of at the centre back, um, so where the zip is, so I essentially there was too much of it across the back of the shoulders, so I just, um, basically there was more seam allowance for the zip towards the top than there was at the bottom, so I just kind of, yeah, took a slice, took like a triangular slice off each side of like the centre back where it met with the zip. And I took much less out than last time, which was a very good thing, because 
my red version bunches around my neck a bit which doesn't really bother me because it's sort of drapey fabric anyway and I wear a big necklace with it so you can't really it's not a massive problem but it does just kind of bunch up a bit around my neck and I did realize that it's because I'd taken too much out of the zip so all like at the back it was pulling around too much and then it was causing this to like to bunch up around my neck so this time I haven't taken as much out of the back and that's been much better because now it sits Sorry, I should take this necklace off so I can show you, but it sits much nicer and smoother across the front of my chest. So that was a good kind of learning curve for me there to realise the mistake I'd made last time in taking too much out of the back. The last adjustment I made was just to take it up. I sliced about a good few inches off the bottom. In fact, maybe, I think it's probably about this much. I sliced about this much off the bottom because I don't have very long legs and it is obviously designed to be like the jumpsuit is designed to be sort of like a midi length kind of ankle skimming length really but it was just too long on me it, look, it didn't look right so I just chopped a bit off and I do still find it I don't know I do still find it a little bit uncomfortable to wear things this length and I am considering chopping another few inches off of it just to make myself feel I kind of want it maybe just below the knee as whereas at the moment it's below the knee plus a chunk just a comment I would make on my technique. I am really lazy when it comes to hemming. So the instructions do tell you to do a proper hem where you, you know, fold it up by one centimeter, press it, fold it up by another centimeter, press it, and then stitch it down. But I hate doing that. I hate doing that because I just feel like I'm gonna do it really inaccurately and not have it the same all the way around. So I did the lazy option and I used my roll hem foot, which is my favorite thing I've ever bought for my sewing machine but I have to say it doesn't give as good a finish like it means the hem is a bit more delicate and because this crepe is quite fine the roll foot did have like a few bits kind of slipped out of the roll foot so I've got, I've got a few dodgy bits and actually my hem has definitely still ended up wonky but I don't think it's particularly noticeable so for now I'm just gonna say if you notice my wonky hem please just don't tell me just you know What's the saying? Something a blind eye, pass a blind eye? And you know what I mean, just shh, be our little secret. Yeah, so overall I'm really happy with it. I think it fits me really nicely. I love the fabric. The fabric is 100% polyester, so it is staticky. So the one thing that disappoints me is that I can't wear, I can't wear skin colored tights with it because it sticks really badly. And because it's a jumpsuit, it's not like I can just put a slip on underneath. So I don't know, maybe in the future, if I make it again I, with this sort of polyester crepe fabric, maybe I would line the trouser legs, but is that not just gonna give quite a lot of fabric then? I don't know, has anyone else ever lined the legs of a jumpsuit? I'd love some advice on that because yeah, I would love it if I could line the legs so that I can wear tights with it because it would just make it more wearable. Because at the moment, I feel like I can only really wear this when it's quite warm, quite hot really outside because I get really cold ankles. But yeah, it was definitely a successful outfit to wear to the wedding. Um, I'll put in some photos of me wearing it at the wedding too, but unfortunately, we got so unlucky with the weather. Um, well, the bride and groom, I guess, got unlucky with the weather. It was still the most fantastic wedding. We had such a great day. It was like a back garden wedding. So the, um, yeah, it was all set up in their garden and they had their garage was at the bottom of the garden. It was all decorated beautifully with fresh flowers and fairy lights and lovely, like, Pinteresty touches, um, but it pulled it down with rain. So I did have to layer up my jumpsuit in the end. I had to put like a black jacket on and like some other layers to keep me warm, but I still really enjoyed wearing it. And I have another wedding to go to later this year in September, and I think I'm gonna wear it to that as well because I love it and I spent hours making it, so why not wear it again? So I had leftover fabric and quite a lot of leftover fabric, which always happens. So I, I mean, I'm always a bit nervous about how much fabric to buy. I think I already did scale down the amount of fabric I bought compared to what the pattern suggests, only a little bit. I think it called, I bought two and a half meters, I think it called for like 2.8 meters or something. And I was like, oh, 2.5 meters will be fine. But I still ended up with enough spare um, to make an Ogden cami, which I'm just so happy with because this will be so lovely to wear in the summer. I can wear it when it's really hot, I can wear it with shorts and with skirts, or, you know, if it's a bit cooler, I can wear it with jeans. 
Um, and again, because it's black, it will look good in like the winter and autumn with like a little black jacket over it on like an evening out or something. Um, I'll put in some footage of me wearing it, but um, yeah, I love it. I'm so, so pleased. And I just think, what a bonus. I spent £36 on fabric, which for me is like relatively expensive, but I got two pieces of clothing out of it. Like you can't, you wouldn't be able to buy this jumpsuit and this top from Topshop for that much. So I'm pretty chuffed with myself. I'm sure most of you have probably made the Ogden Cami pattern because it's just so brilliant, but essentially it's just a really lovely simple cami top pattern and it's got a lovely soft V at the front and at the back and these um, lovely little spaghetti straps, which the way you insert these is just genius. Every time, I've only made two of these so far, but I'm inserting them and I'm like, oh my God, this feels wrong. And then like magic, voila, you turn it all around the right way and oh, you've got these lovely straps. Um, but what I really like about the pattern, if I turn it inside out, I can show you, is that it's got a little heart, like a little three quarter or lining. So it's got like a little lining where your boobs are which is great because it means that if you are, for example, wearing a strapless bra underneath, you've got enough thickness in the top part of the fabric that it's not, you're not gonna see your bra through it. But also, I'm quite small busted, so I can wear it without a bra, which is so nice, and it's got that two layers, so it just gives you a bit more um, modesty, it just feels a bit more like you're covered up, so. I will be making a, I'm definitely be do, going to be doing a um, fabric shopping haul from my trip to California, so I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that, and I might also make sort of a little mini travel vlog style video, nothing too big or dramatic, but just to give you guys a really casual little snippet view of what I got up to, because it was such a fun trip, and I know I love seeing about people's holidays, so I don't know, let me know if you think that would be something you'd like to see. Yeah, so overall I think this was such a successful make. I'm so happy with it and I can't wait to wear it again. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And also please let me know if you've like if you've bought this fabric, if you've made anything with it yet, or if you've made um, the V9075 jumpsuit. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!